What is your biggest fear and how to overcome it? Fear ends for you today. We are going to go through a few things. I'm going to share with you what my biggest fear is. I'm going to share with you what my biggest fear was a year and a half ago and how I overcame it to show you some steps that you can begin taking today and overcome the fear that you have right now. Then I'm going to give you a elevated way to look at fear, which will change the conversation for you because you have to move past fear and the elevated way to look at it will help you do that more fast. Fear dies and ends for you. It is whenever you embody fear, you don't move forward. You don't craft your preferable life. You stay stuck. You have embody scarcity. You embody pride. And all of those things have to go because a fearless life is how to thrive. And that's what we're going to begin for you today. Let's talk about what fear is. Fear is great. We need to have it. If we didn't have fear, we would have many more problems. It's kind of like pain. Whenever you touch a burner, you need to know that it's hot and you need to take your hand off of it. Fear is like that. It is our body's flight syndrome. If there is a tiger in your front yard, you don't want to walk up to the tiger and say, pretty kitty, pretty kitty. You want to slam the door shut and deadbolt it run to your bedroom and take pictures and post them on Facebook from your bedroom away from the tiger, not go Facebook live next to the tiger because that would be detrimental. And so we need fear. We should have it. My biggest fear is to tell you what my purpose is. Day number 110 ish of making these videos and my purpose hit why I am here on this earth. Another benefit of a becoming a content creator so you should start putting out content because you learn about yourself a ton. And I learned, clarified my purpose, why I'm here. And I'm scared to tell it to you. What it is, is that you are a co-creator and the game is for you to become the most creative best with your life. Uh, God has set you up to co-reign with him. You bring a shift for the earth that only you can bring and you have a purpose and fear is one of the things that holds you back. And so we got to overcome that so that you can discover your passions and start creating from your passions and then fill into the purpose of why you are here. And I don't know why, I'm scared to talk about it. So my biggest fear a year and a half ago was not 25% the size of the fear that I have right now. And what it was is that I started a digital marketing agency and I learned about this meetup hack to connect with local businesses, thanks to Miles Beckler, thanks Coach B. And I was scared to death to launch it. I found out about it July of 2017 or so and thought about it for a little while. And then in um, January, I think maybe February of 2018, I started my meetup group but I never launched my first meet up. I still was scared to death. And for six or eight months, I don't remember the exact time frame. I thought about and tried to willpower myself to create this first meetup group so that I can meet some local businesses and kept paying 10 bucks a month to meet up and never using it. And what happened is I prepared a ridiculous amounts for those first couple and I still work on them, prepare them, prepare for them. But the eighth time I realized the next day after the eighth one that I just made a PowerPoint, went and gave my delivery. Usually I would have to kind of do some things to calm my anxiety and fear. And I would show up 30 minutes early and I'd prepare six, eight hours of research and all that kind of stuff. and. But the eighth one, I just made a PowerPoint, went and talked, showed up three, five minutes early. Not, not, a, not a good thing. I probably need to show up 10 or 15, but not 30-ish. And did the meetup, had fun, and went home, and everything was great. So that is the steps to overcome fear, is that you, you can't run away from it. You have to, it's kind of a, a conscience thing, I think. And in 
kind of thinking about this a little bit more. This is actually my third time to make this stupid video because I've been scared. <laughs> and uh, following your conscience is, it's, go it's going to be continue to push you forward. And those things are going to be scary and they're going to cause fear. And that's the elevated way to look at it is whenever you embrace and overcome a, the fear that you have today, it leads to a larger fear because you broke through that one and then you can handle something bigger. And the game is to actually get to like where the fears become huge and you want to have bigger fears. The first time you made a Facebook post, you're probably scared to death, and now it's no big deal. The first time you had a kid, you were probably scared to death, and now you have five kids like me, you're a dork. <laughs> and we wanna look at fear differently. We want to push through and stick to overcoming this one so that we can get a bigger one and a bigger one and fulfill the reason why you are on this earth because you are a co-creator and you have a purpose. And in order for you to fulfill that, you have to create, which means you got to push past a bunch of these fears so that you can be the most creative you and live you out the way that you were ordained to live out. And that's what you got to do is embrace, overcome the one that you have right now and welcome be excited about a bigger one a short while from now. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your biggest fear is right now. I want to help you overcome it. Break through to your preferable life. Craft your preferable life. That's what we do here. Hit subscribe. Hit thumbs up. I'm Josh, preferablelife.com. Take incremental steps today. Overcome fear that you have right now and get a bigger one later on. It's going to be a lot of fun living out you. Catch you on the next one.